Happy Friday, everyone, and good morning. The end of the vacation on the 6th of February. I mean, February, I mean, July. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Look, Ken, making a little money on uh, the, BO, the, the BBOX. Good to see you. Ken, good to see you. Tom, Amy, good to see you. Fred, Gail, Grant, good to see you. All right. Craig, John, Jerry, Neil, look at all those great names coming across. All right, everyone. Everyone all excited about the weekend? I'll tell you, I hate weekends uh, on a Friday like like this because I'm telling you, looking in the market, it's quite slow. There's a couple of things that are moving this morning, but I told you this is probably what we're going to be expecting going into the morning hours. Not a lot of action with certain stocks. I mean, we got this BBOX that some of you guys are doing pretty well on. Uh, this is actually a two-day chart. Let me just change it to a one-day chart. Get a little bit more of a better perspective. Uh, stocks just made a little bit of a comeback, a little bit of a bounce, but I think that the Black Box Corp is probably the only one that's moving. There is a couple, a couple other ones like IQ on the short. We'll talk a little bit about that, but before we do that, uh, let's go talk about what happened yesterday. Not a lot to talk about. Listen, I, I told you, I went through my journals. One thing that we teach you at CyberTrade University is that when you go, um, you know, your journals are very, very critical that the ones that we designed and built for you as a student, you need to know how to use them in a way of understanding what happened over the course of the day, how you're doing over the month. You know, there's two sets of journals that we have. And when you go back on these days and you look at, not only do we use them for like, oh, we could trade the stock once before or uh, what time of the year it is or day, you'll see it's very, very consistent. Listen, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a genius, I got a crystal ball. This is just reality. And, you know, sometimes you need to go back and review it. This is, you got to always remember, this is a job. You got to treat it like a job. This is just not waking up in the morning and saying, hey, what is Faust doing today? What is Cybertrain University doing in the trading room? No, you know, listen, I spoke to a bunch of you yesterday. Uh, we got a lot of new people that want to join the team, which is exciting, which is all about. People tell me they, they you know, they don't see these things going around, um, especially day trading and level three. I think that's the biggest thing. But like I also tell everyone, it's not for everybody, you know? Uh, you gotta know how to play the game. What you're seeing here in the cyber group room is one thing, but knowing how to speak the language is another. But um, the whole idea is just sparking your interest. But a lot going on, and we'll talk about some of the stocks that we did trade. Uh, first of all, the ANW was one of them that we traded yesterday. Let me kind of fix this chart over here so you kind of get more of a little more perspective. Uh, that one that was a uh, was a really nice stock. Um, had a nice little move, went from 80 cents up to about a buck 90. Huge winner, and then right in the middle of the day, buck 40, had a nice little push back to 240. You could see how it filled in the gap over here, which I kind of said earlier uh, when we were watching it. But that was a pretty good one. Now you could see how it's starting to go down. It's down, not huge, but starting to back off a little bit. This was a very easy, inexpensive stock, a and I think everyone did pretty well on that one. The DFBG was another one that we traded. That was an early morning runner. That one went from four to about 650. You can see here in the long-term chart, we've been trading it the last couple of days, so some of you didn't see it. You know, once again, that's that's the past, you know, and that's in the archives. Now we gotta focus on the future. Uh, BJ's had a really great, great short yesterday. You could see how that thing came down nice and easy. Um, I got out of it uh, once it started breaking down, so I, I'm still I'm still a serious buyer in it. Um, yeah, I, I really do like the stock. I love the company, and you know, but that once again, that's a swing trade. That's an options trade. But you could all see what happened as what with, with the stock IQ. Let's bring up this IQ trade because IQ has been a great great short. Uh, we made a lot of money in IQ, huge money. I, I was, you know, I love the company, what it does. But does it mean you can't buy it back cheaper? How many times have you guys went out, went out there and says, but I love the company, I think it's a great, but sure enough, look what's happening. Uh, we owned it, we bought it at 18, $19. We sold it, you know, unfortunately I didn't get 45, I got 39. And look where it is now, it's down to 29. It's gonna be testing some major support levels. I says, listen, you know what? The trend is your friend, don't buck the trend. You gotta understand how to day trade first, you know, and then you could be a good swing trader. You can always, you know, there's a lot of stocks that you guys, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people and, you know, everybody out there wants to, um, you know, starting to realize 
they buy stock, they, they, they love when they're making money, but they hate when they lose money. And the question is, they don't know how to control losses or you can you know, buy it back cheaper. That's what it's all about. Ken says, just a few weeks ago, IQ was at 23. Absolutely, it was only a few weeks ago, right? I mean, th that's what it is. But listen, how do we know it was going to go up that high? Because we were good day traders, right, uh, right, Ken? That's what it's about. I was subscription last week for two weeks. How come it was charged on the... Uh, Omar, listen, you know what? Talk to your education advisor, and they'll take care of that for you, okay? You know, sorry if any issues with that, but they'll take care of that. All right, in the meantime, guys, let's do some shopping and see what is going on this morning. Uh, regarding about the uh, the BBOX, I mean, this is probably the nicest one out of them all right now. That's moving pretty nicely. Move on, let me move to a one-minute chart. Uh, some of you already did pretty well in the pre-market, logging in exactly when you're supposed to at 8 o'clock this morning and uh, did pretty well. Nice little support. And I said it earlier. I said, you know, the, I don't know if you go back to my chats. Uh, where did I say it? Uh, yeah, around 8.26. I'm just going to copy and paste this in the chat. If you scroll up, if anyone missed it, that was a chat I put in earlier. I'm just going to copy and paste it, put it back in there. At 826, I says, you know what? It's kind of holding pretty strong um, at the uh, at these prices. And sure enough, look what it did. So if you didn't, if you missed the 8 o'clock move, 830 is the next move. And now we're starting to trend up. So this one is really, really nice. I like this one a lot. The next one that's on the list that I put I found this morning is the IQ. That's been a great short. Some of you guys did really well. You know, we got and and what's nice about the IQ on the short, you know, eventually things bounce. But you got to listen, IQ guys. This is like a level four stock, maybe a three sometimes. But you know, this stock was is extremely volatile, extremely. Now I don't know if anyone knows, but the tariffs with China are kicking in. So you know. I can see that you know, and that's another concern. I think that that I think that's what really brought IQ down a lot was the tariffs that are going to be putting on. So like them, hate them. You know, I hate that the tariffs went on because I, the IQ probably could have went so much higher. But what it is, what it is, I'll just buy it back cheaper. You know, so uh, that's probably one of the reasons. I don't know. I'm just speculating, but I would be careful. A lot of China stocks right now, um, even no, no matter how much you like them, you know, those tariffs are probably going to do something. So you got the IQ trade. Um, we saw tops this morning. I don't know what happened with that one. That one had a big pop. Uh, tops went from, you know, ninety-five cents up to a buck forty, and she started to trend down again. So I don't know what's happened with that one. CCCR, another one I found this morning was up about ten percent, almost a hundred thousand shares. Nice little push, but she's starting to trend down again. So maybe going to make that as a scratch. So I mean, I only have four stocks. The BBOX is basically probably was the nicest one right now. Not a lot going on in pre-market. It's perfectly normal. This is Friday. Uh, it's a long weekend. You could a lot of people took off. Half the people in the room are already gone. You know, on vacation. You know, and it's good. It's okay. It's healthy to do that. And you know, one thing that's great about day trading, you could enjoy your vacation. You don't got to sit there and be married to your phone and look what's going on on quotes all day. Is the market going up? What's going? On? Go enjoy yourself. You know what I mean. So if you're going to be here, we're going to trade. If you know, if you're not, um, like I said, don't don't be holding positions. All right, guys. Unless it's being done extremely by design. All right. Anything I'm missing? I did not call out, guys. Anything else? All right. So listen, if you want to take off this week, you know, you know, later in this afternoon, you don't see anything. Well, um, you, you you got to pass for me. This is exactly what you what you're trained for. This is what we do. And, uh, you know, if it's there, it's there now. But one thing we are doing today, I want to remind everybody, we are doing an open house again on today on Friday. We didn't we usually do it every week on a Thursday, but we're doing it today. So um, if you can go out there and support CTU, I know it's, if it's slow, you know, in the middle of the day, that's why we do it. Come out there. Let's try to recruit some more traders. And if you could help promote it, you know, tell your friends about it, you know, just come in, listen in. We're going to talk a lot about level three again, as usual. Um, are you posting these symbols, Kurt? Yes, I'm going to be posting them once the meeting is over. And um, if you are subscribed to our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube channel, this is being recorded and you'll be able to get to watch it back a little bit later and do your homework on it. All right, Kurt? Uh, Kurt? All right, everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading. We'll see you, um, we'll see you at 12 o'clock for the, you know, the open house class. And then we'll see you back at 2.30 for the... Afternoon and guys, listen. If you're going to be around, poke your nose because afternoons 
days like today, a lot of people, like I say all the time, you get a lot of it, you get a lot of the assistance put in and uh, traders and you know, stocks got to push. I'm telling you, it's probably the easiest push that you'll find out of any day like today. All right. All right, guys, good luck and uh, see you um, see you back at 12 o'clock. Good luck today. Happy trading.